In the summer of 2016, myself and Barry became co-owners of a Swift 23 sailing yacht. When purchased, the boat was based over in Chichester, and we had to transit her from Chichester through northern Solent to Christchurch, where the boat was to remain. There was one day of the month on August the 11th that uh, all the tides were with us that could take us from Chichester Harbour through the eastern part of the Solent with the tides flowing with us up to Cowes Harbour, across, down the southwestern side of the Solent through Hurst Castle Narrows and of course into Christchurch Harbour on arrival. We are, um, we've just picked up the, the tender um, and we're just going to pick up some fuel for our preparation for our trip tomorrow. Say hello Barry. Hello Barry. And this is what we've got in the back, our little boat. Just getting free. So we're um, just going to go and get some fuel and then load up ready for our trip tomorrow. And uh, pretty excited. See it's all video. Set. Here we are. What do you think Captain Baz? <laughs> ready? See this? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So um, Lesson one learnt, um, just loading up the boat as you can see. What you might not see is this. Yes, you're right. These are my footprints and they start there and they go up to about there where I got knee deep. A little quick retreat, back up to the body. What a twat. There he is, it's getting dark, we're getting ready for our little passage tomorrow. Supper time. Supper time. Adrift with engines. So we have um, done as much as we can with the time left this evening before dusk's fell. Uh, we had a slight crisis on board a minute ago where we didn't have a bottle opener between us, but we've, we've worked it out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have our dinner, do some final preps and checks, and then we'll go to bed and get up early. Nazarino? How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, pretty good actually. Yeah. 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 Good. Excited. <laughs> like a little kid at Christmas. <laughs> yep. Get to the last drop. It's um, three fifty-four. Neither of us slept very well last night, but not out of discomfort. It was more out of excitement. So we are somehow just at the moment starting to. Uh, Rise and shine. We're going to get a cup of tea on, and then um, we can hear the water lapping against the side of the boat. So I don't think it'll be too long before we head off. Warm outside though, so um, hopefully it'll be a nice day for motoring. Got the engine running. How you doing? Nervous? Okay, let's go. First part of our trip took us from Chichester Harbour uh, into the East Solents and uh, travelling west into heavy winds over towards Cowes. Woohoo! On our way! Time's five o'clock now and we've left with no problems. It's all pretty sweet, so touch wood, everything's going nicely. Barry did a fantastic job making numerous cups of tea on a boat with no pivoting oven. He still managed, despite the rough seas, we had about 15 knots of wind uh, and the tide going out, so it made for an extremely bouncy first part of the trip, which is pretty unpleasant and we didn't feel top of the world for this part. significantly more windy than we thought it was going to be today. This is maybe one of the crux points of the trip. It's, um, a lot of boats about. Oh. Another thing that we didn't really anticipate was that it was of course Cows Week, the busiest week in the Solent of the year, which made things a little bit interesting. 
we steer very close to uh, all the yacht clubs in Cowes um, and made very poor progress initially down the southwest passage um, and we were just fighting the wind and the tide so it was quite a frustrating long part of the day but at least it was sunny. So we've made it, it's been a long day over to Yarmouth um, but we're here ahead of time um, and we are just deliberating what the hell to do because um, it's quite windy and we're just waiting for the tide to go down. I think we're going to go for it. I think we're going to uh, try and take our chances with her spit um, and just see how that goes. We've got limited fuel as well, which we need to be aware of. So everything's in the tank ready to go now. We've got, what was it, 10 miles left to run? Back to Mudderford. Um, so um, we will see. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a hell of a long way. Yeah, into wind, into tide some of the way. Um, so not really looking forward to it. We'll see how it goes, because if it's crap, we'll just turn around. <laughs> Go back to uh, Key Haven. And crap it was. We pushed on through the Hurst Narrows and were hit by the remainder of the oncoming tide and 16 or 17 knots of wind. So we made extremely poor progress through here. Despite being at full throttle, um, in some patches we only managed just under a knot. There was one particular patch at around point 13 where we were just making no progress, uh, maintaining about half a knot. We pulled the sails up in desperation to see if this would make a difference, but alas, it made no difference. So we pulled the sails down, which was no easy task in uh, moving seas. And we turned the engine on and in one last ditch attempt moved uh, north to follow the now changing tide that went east to west and followed that home. And this worked. Once we moved around into the lee of Hengisbury Head, the wave condition actually improved a fair amount and we made better progress. So we are deeply, deeply relieved. We can see Hengisbury in the distance and um, it's feeling pretty idyllic. And so finally we made it back round to Christchurch Harbour, the new home of, uh, of our new boat. Um, and after about a 30 minute power up the harbour we disembarked and got all our kit off, absolutely exhausted. Quite the adventure that one. <laughs> 